if you live in a Republican-controlled state, first of all, sorry, but you've probably noticed that a lot of your fellow citizens are being denied basic civil rights. Do this, do your homework, and find out how they're going about it in your state. Join me now to explain why Republicans only want certain people to enjoy constitutional rights is Attorney Dave Tissell. David, it seems like the new GOP mantra is suppress the voice of everybody who disagrees with the GOP. These stories that are coming out, I, I saw this, this story, rights only for the right people. I mean, this is pretty much what's happening all across the country. And again, go look for this story in mainstream media. You won't find it. Go ahead and give me the 10,000 foot of this. Well, the 10,000 foot, I think, I think a good example, Mike, the, the, the best place to look is the new law uh, that the Arizona legislatures tried to, tried to pass uh, when they, they wanted to give uh, businesses the right to discriminate against gay people, to not serve them food at their restaurants uh, because of religious freedom. And they said that this is, this is fair uh, and, and it was okay to treat gay people, homosexuals, as second-class citizens in this country. And they didn't see anything in, wrong in the, with that. In the name of religion. Exactly. In the name of religion. Uh, as a matter of fact, Jan Brewer tried to look like a hero by vetoing this, but the part of the story that wasn't told is Jan Brewer's team actually helped write this legislation, the very legislation that she ended up vetoing. This was all going dur all during a time when they were uh, sentencing uh, gays to death in Uganda. I mean, that, uh, this, this, is, this is a good point. I mean, my, this is the one time that this, an issue like this actually made it to the national media and that there was, once people heard about it around the country, they stood up and said no and forced a governor who really backs this type of legislation to actually veto a, a bill her own people put, put forward. Don't, I mean, what, what, the, what the national media is not talking about is that Georgia, Idaho, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Numerous other states are passing the very, or, or trying to pass the very same law that was trying to be passed in Arizona, but nobody's talking about that on mainstream media. But the point to me, the point to the story is 15 years ago, we would have heard stories like this and we would have died laughing at how ridiculous the, the notion is. The media would have taken stories like this and it would have been on front page. Not anymore because we've become, we, you know, the idea you become what you think about. Exactly. The GOP has been thinking about trying to dehumanize virtually everybody who disagrees with them. And that's why in Ohio, the John, uh, John Kasich is. Uh, uh, and that's a great point, Mike, because what's going on here is that uh, the, the mainstream media is missing out on one of the biggest stories uh, of our generation, which is the marginalization of by race or or what, by homosexuality uh, uh, of low income people. And what happening? What's happening in Ohio is an example of that. The Republican Party and Governor Kasich have now passed laws. Uh, to actually discriminate against low-income and African-American voters. And one of them being uh, uh, moving uh, lower-income inner-city uh, uh, voting places, uh, early voting places in Cincinnati, for example, uh, to make them less accessible and less able to vote. Shutting down early voting, which is 77% African-American uh, in Ohio. Shutting that down, the golden week they, they, they used to have, where someone could actually, uh, could actually register to vote and then, and then vote with an absentee ballot. They've cut that down, and their own people, the Republican Party, they can't even keep their <laughs> mouth, mouth closed about this conspiracy. They actually, uh, one of their uh, elected officials admitted that the purpose of this was to suppress the African-American vote, to make sure that those people couldn't vote, and if they could, to make it more difficult that, for them to be able to do so, so there were less of them voting. Uh, that's what's going on in this country, and I, I don't see it anywhere, Mike. I don't see it anywhere. David, have, honestly, God, have you looked at Good Morning America lately? Yes. Have you looked at any of the, the, the idiot talk on talking shows? I mean, just take a minute. It is almost unbearable, but force yourself to sit there for 30 minutes <laughs> 
and watch them talk about recipes or what somebody wore to an event the night before or who's having a baby. There is no news anymore. Now, because there's no news, we even have this story. It's going to continue with this story. We have states attacking people's rights to even organize labor unions. Talk well, about this, well, this and this talk about how the GOP has made it part of their this part of their their their, their talking point. We're talking about the First Amendment of the Constitution. We're talking about the right to peacefully assemble, the right to protest. Our founders found that to be one of the most important, if not the most important right to protect. They made it the First Amendment right. And we now have in states uh, around the country where Republicans are suppressing the labor union's right to actually protest, to picket those who are responsible for not creating jobs, to picket those who are responsible for not making sure that people have a living wage, and they and they and they 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 don't see Let the double name. standard, the double standard uh, that that is going on here when they're the same ones that are fighting for the right to life protesters like the uh, uh, the, the, the 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 Wichita, Kansas. Uh, anti great example uh, uh, where where he he goes to the to go, goes to people's funerals homosexuals funerals and protests and they think for, they they say first amendment first amendment for that but when people stand up f as workers in this country for their right to be paid a fair wage they want to stop that at every opportunity let me name these names for you i mean these these are the this is this is like the uh, the center point for right wing crazy Tennessee, Georgia, Mississippi, the same states, exactly the same states that, we're, we, that we just talked about, exactly right. the same places. But they're saying that a, a, a man or a woman should not be able to pick it in front of the organ, in front of the business that won't pay them living wage, that won't give them health, health care, that won't let them have overtime, that charge them, uh, you know, ex exorbitant prices for virtually everything they try to buy in that organization, whether it is health care or pension or whatever it is so in other words that you have you have this dichotomy in this country at least where the gop is concerned that it's fine for us but it's not fine for you to have your first amendment rights protected isn't it and, i mean is and, that where and, you're and it's cut and not just those states though mike you look now michigan is a state where the the the, the labor union's right to picket is being and protest is being attacked ohio as we talked about it's coming to all of our states you need we need to stand up and we need to get the word out that this double standard is what the republican party stands for force yourself to watch good morning america or one of the main uh the the, the cbs nbc ABC, ABC morning shows, and you tell me whether they talk about anything even halfway beyond dim wit, whether they talk about issues like this. They don't. David, thank you for joining me, okay? Thank you.